there, and welcome to the Mad Tea Party. I hope you're ready to spill the tea. If you're new here, I am Derek. And I'm Ryan. And today, we are going to share with you some of our new pins that we just got, and also an unboxing. <laughs> yes! So, one of our friends recently went down to um, Disney World and was very kind and gracious and took an order from us. You know, just... you know, we would just send a text and like, hey, can you get this pin? Hey, could you also get this? Do you mind? And we, so, thank you, thank you, thank you to our friend. Thank God. Now... Um, we also, um, from our last video, talked about some of our pins that we got from Disney, st I got it right here, Disney Studio Store Hollywood. We're regulars there. We're we know exactly we've how We've been to there a million times. Actually, we are going to go this summer. Yeah. But that's beside the point. We'll so, tell you about that later. Yeah. So, um, we have here a, uh, our collection of some of our newer pins. Thank you. So, I'm going to hold this right here. And we're going to do our best we'll to kind of go line by line. Oh, there we go. I think that'll work. Yeah. Mm, there it is. Yeah. All right. So she, our friend, was able to get her hands on these. Two blind boxes. Yes, these um, window, these Beauty and the Beast window mystery boxes that just came out. And now I have to get the entire collection. Luckily, I had no duplicates, so I still need five more. But I um, need the rest of them. As you may remember, um, or maybe not, we have a, an affinity for Beauty and the Beast having been in the show. Mm -hmm. I actually have been in it twice. Yeah. Once 15 years ago, and then once like two years, and again, two years ago, and both times I played Cogsworth, but the last time I got to play it opposite of Mahabi. <laughs> yeah, I was Lumiere. Um, so much fun. It's cool too, because it's just like real life. He's very tightly wound, and I'm a hot ass man. Back to business. <laughs> okay, so we have these amazing new um, Beauty and the Beast pens. What I really like about them, one, yes, they are stained glass, and they tell, somehow we ended up with like the beginning story of the prince and the enchantress when she's a hag, and then the final transformation. But my favorite thing is that they are all rose gold. They're so cool. They are so beautiful. Now, of course, the Beauty and the Beast collection continues. These are actually all Ryan's. I'm going to hold them right here so he can introduce the rest of his pins. I am an avid Beauty and the Beast collector. So this one here is um, one of the limited editions that they released. I bought this actually online um, in a Facebook oh, yes. group. This one and this one here. And this and is well, that actually. one right there. Mm -hmm. I just love to shop. Um, so these two here, I loved. I loved this one because I don't know if I've ever seen a pin of her in her pink dress. Yeah, um, not very often. And then this scene is just so cute with the sheet. Um, I am obsessed with Hunchback of Notre Dame. Obsessed. I have a Hunchback of Notre Dame pin collection, and Frollo is my guy. He is, I mean, he's awful, but... I mean, maybe you can just say you want to play him and I mean, I want to play him, but I also love him. I, it's weird. He to has me. the best Disney song of all but time. But another, another Beauty and the Beast one there at the end. Yeah, this is the Christmas Day pin. It was a limited release And the year. best part is, it's all of them as humans. Cogsworth and Lumiere. Human again. And Mrs. Potts and Chips. And then yeah. right below that, um, these are not from the last trip that we were just talking about. But Ryan also got some... Oh, I just bought these on Facebook, too. Um, these two were uh, from an old Alice in Wonderland, I think, mystery collection. Yeah. Um, these were came out way before we yeah, ever started, before we collecting. started collecting. Um, but I have been looking for this one specifically. I would like to have this whole set, but um, the golden afternoon scene in Alice in Wonderland is my favorite scene, so I love the flowers. Um, and then the momoraths are just so cute. And down below... We have um, the trees that we were talking about in our last video. Um, this is the Merlin tree that we opened while we had you here last time. And the beautiful Aurora tree. Now, I'm going to try to get a little close-up of that. Look at that glitter. Got to get that glitter in there. She has pink, like a reddish pink, a hot pink, and a blue. And it's very pretty. Um, also, I'm just going to admit, I'm an old soul. I don't know why... I like so many of the older classic, 
but not even classics. Like the ones that people are like, oh yeah, that's a Disney movie. Like Pete's Dragon and Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. He likes to collect the things that are really hard to find. It makes it really easy for me for holidays. I love it. The greatest thing is this year, last year, 2021, was the 50th anniversary of Mm -hmm. Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. They started putting out merch in December. So we're going to celebrate in its 51st year. And one of the first things our friend brought me back was one of these limited edition new 50th anniversary bed knobs and broomsticks um, under the sea when they are bobbing along, singing a song, getting that trophy. Um, I also have a D23 pin coming that is um, bed knobs and broomsticks that I can't wait for. But also um, this adorable, oh, if it will even focus, this, come on, there we go. This adorable tiki room um, pin, and it came from the ornament collect. It was like inside of a really cool little ornament. Um, I have to say, I'm not crazy about birds. Mm-mm. I'm not crazy about the tiki room, but I just love the. It's kind of cool. Though. I like the style, and mm-hmm. I like one of my favorite spirit jerseys is my tiki room spirit jersey. Mm-hmm. And I recently fell in love with Dole Whip. Dole Whip has not always been my. I like. I never really did it before. Um, tried it before, and I really actually kind of love it now. It's better with coconut. Yeah. That swirl. Ooh. Mm. But these, are, those are just some of our newer pins um, that we're super excited about. Our friend also brought me another pin uh, back from the park that I'm obsessed with. Unfortunately, when I went to put it in my board this morning, the uh, pin back was loose, and it just broke off. Um, but it's so cute. I'm going to have to order it and get another one. Um, and I'll probably do something with this one. Um, ah. um, it's from Pocahontas. The bathtub oh. scene with the cherries. I Percy, just love Miko and Percy. Percy has always been one of my favorite sidekick little guys. Um, I'm a huge fan of Pocahontas. I have a Pocahontas collection. When I was a kid, it was my jam. I had Pocahontas sheets and pillowcases and a comforter and I'll never forget them the, that's what I my childhood I just remember my bed looking like Pocahontas good for you just around the river bend so what we have next is an unboxing um, from one of our favorite shops which we will link down below and that is Pixie Dust Apothecary yeah, we are actually apprentices for Pixie Dust Apothecary Pixie Dust Apothecary. Um, so, if you are interested in 15% off, which I don't know who, who wouldn't, wouldn't be, be, but like if you like deals, um, please check them out because we have bought so many cents. We have never once been disappointed. And um, I think only once have we rebought a smell, mm-hmm. and it was this time, but we bought it in a different form, mm-hmm. which we'll talk about in a moment. Yeah, I personally um, don't have a favorite i like to think i have a favorite but i just rotate between them so often that i don't think that i could every time we open a new one it's like how does they just they burn so evenly they smell stronger than any candles i've ever had and they're beautiful and they're amazing they come with these stories she is um ally at two tiny wings who runs pixie does apothecary along Um, with pete and with pete Allie is a, uh, she's a director at her high school. Um, so she's, she's an also, English teacher and the theater director. She's involved with the theater. Um, and it shows because in the description for each of the candles, um, it she literally lays out a moment from the movie that you, when you smell that candle, you are in it that moment. It smells like that moment. It's, it's like being a Disney character. It's crazy. Here is our box. And I think it may be the biggest, like, it's just huge. Like, look at the size of this yeah, box. Normally, gigantic. we've never gotten this much before, but we just love supporting them. Mm-hmm. I I can't wait to smell these. Mm-hmm. Um, we got this month, uh, they do this amazing, it is called the Alchemist Special. Alchemist Special. So every month, it's a specific scent. And I have been begging. Allie to make a um, Hunchback of Notre Dame scent because Topsy Turvy Day was January 6th and that's actually when this package arrived. It killed me to not be able to open it. Um, why we... 
<laughs> keep going. It killed me to not be able to open it on Topsy Turvy Day. And so I'm here and I've been waiting and it's time finally. Okay, so we are just, uh, look, yeah, so let's just take a look at this box. I'll have you go. She fills it with all these little, what do people call these? Swoozles? Swizzles? Foozles. Foozles. What are you I don't, new here? I'm new here. And we always get a very sweet postcard um, that is Disney themed. Um, and this is a beautiful, yeah, it's Cinderella. Oh. And I think we got this one because of one of the scents. So why don't you grab that one first? One of the ones, normally we will both oh, buy one or two each. Oh, it is a wax. And then I'll open my, so we got some wax melts this time. And so, um, all right. So I actually got this time. This is the first time we've ever gotten the wax We've melts. never gotten wax melts before. We, we got some, uh, some, something to burn wax melts for Christmas. So we to actually. To melt, melt, to melt them. That's what I meant. Yeah. Um, we got some to melt wax melts over for Christmas, so we decided to try it out. Um, though we've been just doing the candles, I wanted to try. Um, this is called "So This Is Love," which is a Cinderella scent. Um, I believe this one is uh, in when they are dancing in the ball. Is what it's supposed to smell like. Um, it, I, if I remember correctly, it's very floral, which I love. It's my favorite kind of scent, typically. Whatever. So we don't have the scents memorized, but we will let you know what we think they smell like. But for the actual what she puts in them, check out the link down below and you can see the, the profile, what scents go into it and the story that she Honestly, that I, she sometimes I just with. go on the website to read the descriptions. <laughs> it's like reading a book. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Okay. I smell honeysuckle. Floral. Mm -hmm. I I will say floral things are not normally my favorite. However, it's a nice, it's an even floral. Like it's not overly, it's not like in your face. I love it. It reminds me a little bit of one of the ones that we got before, Anita Darling, oh, which yeah. is the, uh, from 101 Dalmatians. Mm -hmm. And it's that's for, a little more powdery. To, that's a little bit more powdery. And it, to me, that's like when she bursts, Corella bursts through the door and what she would smell like. A big old to cloud me, of cigarette like, smoke. <laughs> Oh, so the one that I bought is my first repeat buy. Mm. Um, if you can't tell from up here, um, I am a little in love with Luca. Um, just a little bit. It came out last summer and I watched it. it actually, it came out right before we went to Disney for the first time since the pandemic mm -hmm. and watched it, cried my eyes out. And ever since, he's been trying to cover the walls with every Luca poster he can find. Every find time, every Luca item that exists. Every time I watch it, a ball. Different, different moments. Different things get me each time. So I too love it. One of the very not quite as emotionally attached. <laughs> one of the first candles I ever bought was Silencio Bruno, um, and so this is my first repeat buy, and it is Silencio Bruno as wax melts. Um, but first, I just want to show you Silencio how pretty Bruno. Silencio Bruno, when someone is, when your head's just telling you that you should not be doing something, just scream out Silencio Bruno. Everyone could use a Silencio first Bruno. First of all, look at just the sparkle, the joy, glitter. and... It looks like Elsa's dress. Uh, smell. To me, it reminds Ooh. me of the ocean side. It's like citrusy sort of, yeah. And there's a little bit of citrus, I feel mm, like maybe... Mm -hmm. But it's, to me, I imagine either, I imagine mm -hmm. laying up on top of, of, um, of Alberto's tower that he lives in and just smelling the sea on the island. Mm -hmm. Being I, a human and not a sea monster. Oh, his little human version. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. This is literally, I may say my favorite. Win. Um, yeah. It's a win. It is, if you were looking, if you're just looking for one, go for it. Yeah. I, this is a good starter, especially if you like Luca. Um, oh, all right. Next one. Uh, um, all right. Let's see what else we got here. Um, let's do, should we do that one? Sure. Absolutely. Um, their namesake. What, their namesake, two tiny wings, which is inspired by none other than figment. Um, and on the inside, we've been waiting to, smell we've been this waiting. One. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, it is purple with some, can you smell it already? Yes. Ooh. It's like melanin, melanie. 
Oh my god, that one's amazing. <laughs> it smells so good. Oh it smells like candy. Yeah, that smells really good. It like almost as if you were riding that terrible, that really good ride at Epcot, and you just smell. You like, <laughs> it's like what ride? It's like a journey through your sense. It is so good. Yeah. I just smell oranges and melons, and I don't even know what it else. It made me want to use is, my imagination. It's dark purple and it's gorgeous. Yeah, that's cannot really wait good. for this one. Um, grab, um, why don't you do this one? Very excited for this one. We love a Winnie the Pooh scent, and we got this one for the honey. There, there it is. Oh, bother. Um, oh, it's, ooh, very pretty golden with, like, some orange color in there. Red, ooh. Smells like honey, but also, like, maple-ish, like, it smells like a breakfast made with It smells honey. like a breakfast made with honey. There you go. Like oatmeal mm-hmm. or something that has, not pancakes, but it's got like that very breakfasty, sweet, and it's not overly sweet. Like it's something that I don't mind. Mm-hmm. Overly sweet things I can't always take. I'm very sensitive. There's no such thing. That smells so good. Yeah, that does so smell pretty. amazing. Um, oh, <sighs> this next one I am super excited about, and it is called Morris. Okay, so Morris, and also the the labels have been coming with new fonts. Very exciting. Oh, yeah, um, cool. Morris is a marble scented one, and I have to admit, I had to do some research. Um, if you saw Shang-Chi, it is this weird little headless guy. Um, <laughs> and yes, I have a pin to show who he is because it's that little like <laughs> thing. So um, that is Morris, and Morris... That the, one is so The pretty. colors alone are just so beautiful. Glitter. Oh. I smell like the air. Yeah. Like and it smells gra- really clean. Grass. Mm-hmm. Grass and air. Oh, I like that. Almost like the clearing. Like mm-hmm. um I actually made I made made Ryan watch Shang Chi. Um, I actually like that one. Yeah. The be- when they first meet the fa- like when the father and mother battle mm-hmm. for the first time, mm-hmm. in that clearing is what I get from it. That smells so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, and our final two. All right. So we've got these. Uh, these were from the. Um, these were the January special. So they are Hunchback of Notre Dame theme. One is called Topsy Turvy. It is the one I've been requesting. Um, we did not pre-open these, so we're gonna. We're new at this, yeah. We're we're new. We're pro people here. Okay. <gasps> oh, comes right. with a card. Oh, oh, that's topsy turvy. Let's right. start with that one. So it's topsy turvy day. Alchemist special for January 2022. So the sixth of January V <laughs> is a special day for the residents of Paris. Once a year, the streets are filled as every man celebrates being a king on topsy turvy day. As the citizens celebrate. One Paris resident watches, high above the fun, trapped in his bell tower, longing for the day when he can join in on the fun, hoping for just one day out there. So we have Topsy Turvy. Um, I will go ahead and read the description. Um, Let's see, is this Topsy Turvy? All right, so go ahead and grab Topsy Turvy out. Um, Take to the streets of Paris with a sense of freesia, sea salt, Mm -hmm. ginger, Peppercorn and spices in this scent worthy of a year, once a year celebration. <laughs> Open that one up. All right, let's see. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks just like the celebration it in the looks streets. Like the festival, yeah. It looks like the mess that it's we got left like over. It's got like that. It's got Clopin's colors. It's like the purples oh, uh-huh. and the yellows, kind of like um, Clopin as he sings about Topsy Turvy Day. Topsy Turvy Day. And the smell. Ooh. I really love this. This smells like really good men's cologne to me. It's like this, like we we were lucky enough to go to Paris, um, mm-hmm. two thousand seventeen, mm-hmm. and it's like it's like the markets. Yeah. As you're walking through, they have all these markets set up along the along the 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 river, Could be and it's of t- Tem, the River Thames. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so oh my gosh. 
So good. This is really good. So good. I mean, if I had to pick a favorite smell that they've really, this is my favorite that I've had, I think. All right, do you want to read about Out There? Yeah, Out There. Um, oh, I'm so excited about this one. All right, Out There. The amber, musk, sandalwood, cedar, and oak smells of a life trapped within a church bell tower combine with a floral touch looking at the celebration below to give this candle a light scent of hope and possibility. Oh my God. Is it going to make me cry? I said to James, it's the Sen. Living by the Sen. I can't believe I just went with it, you too. That's, all right. The, the Thames, the Thames is in London. It's, it's up there. This is the Sen. We're new here. <laughs> We're new in Paris. We're new everywhere. Okay, <laughs> so out there. Color first. Let's see oh. what we get. Oh, I can yeah. open it. Is it? Oh. <gasps> Oh, it's I did not expect that. It's green with some, just some like coppery kind of color in it's there. It's green and brown clothes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, read it again. What is that? It is musk, amber, musk, sandalwood, cedar, and oak smells. It smells like the church. With a church bell tower I... combined with a floral touch. I think I'm going to like this more than you, but that's just me thinking it. How dare you say that? I think that that I love. Okay. He loves it as well. Normally, I'm more of like the woodsy, piney kind this, of sense. Oh, this yeah. is like a nice mix, I think, between both of our... Oh, my goodness. These, um, I really, really, really love these candles, and I hope that Allie will make them for me, even though I think they're supposed to go away after January because the Hunchback ones have been my favorite so far, thus far. I need them. Maybe I should have ordered several of them to last me through the year or years to come. I don't know. What are we to say? Thank you so much for joining us today. If you're curious, you can comment down below, hit that like button or subscribe. Or off with your head! You can also check us out on social media, which our links are below. Have a, Have a golden, golden afternoon. afternoon.